My name is Valerie Keller. I served as CEO of Social Enterprise for about a decade, working on poverty alleviation in the southern United States, and have since been working globally, helping to launch and to scale businesses that have social and environmental impact. Leadership doesn't happen in a vacuum. It's related to the context and the situation that it's in. And given the current context that we're in, with the challenges that the world faces, with the speed at which change is happening, we need leaders who can be flexible and resilient. We need leaders who can be generals one day in one situation and consensus builders the next in another. And for consensus building, we need leaders who can both represent and incorporate diversity of thought. We can no longer afford to leave half the world's brains on the table without having women in positions of political or business leadership, or have other minorities represented leading the very populations that we are supposed to lead. And we need leaders who can work across boundaries, who can work across government, business, and social sectors, who can harness and leverage the power of all of those sectors. We need leaders who are diverse, flexible, and resilient. Our generation face a host of challenges, not the least of which is scarcity of resources, of water, of energy, and the resulting geopolitical shifts that are coming. This crisis, though, is an incredible opportunity, an opportunity for innovation, an opportunity for creative solutions. We have to meet this scarcity of resources with an abundance mentality. That when we say we, when we say us, we have to mean all of humanity, beyond the nation state, beyond other types of economic borders, that we have to say that the world works when it works for all. Right now, in the world, every three seconds, someone dies of factors related to poverty. And yet the world's experts say that we have the resources that we need to be able to address this. We've got climate change, but we've also got potential resources and solutions. And so we need a world right now where leaders can step up and work across political boundaries, across business, government, and social sectors, looking to harness the power of all of these to be able to implement solutions, to live in that greater we that says that the world works when it works for all, and that we're going to seize these crisis moments and create these as moments of opportunity for innovation and for creative solutions. The Young Global Leaders is a powerful community, and its power comes in its diversity of backgrounds, cultures, experiences, across sectors, business, politics, social sector. I'm looking to bring my experiences with movements for systems change and helping to launch and scale businesses with social impact to be a thought partner and to look for that thought partnership within the Young Global Leaders community. We have the capability among us to cross-pollinate best practices, what's working in other communities, and then to say, okay, we've got this great power and this great potential. What are we going to do with this? How do we harness this? How do we leverage this? How do we take proven solutions in certain communities and help those to scale and to grow globally? How do we implement very practically, very tactically, leveraging the power and the diversity of the Young Global Leaders community to be able to implement market-based solutions to social problems.